Okay, so let's get into it then with Villa going against uh, Dark Kevin, also known as uh, also known as uh, Cybers from TLG. So we see that Ville didn't ban uh, SY, so blue coin for Dark Kevin. Up against V on the red coin, so Ville finds only one V at the moment, which might be not ideal. Finds double larva, decides to kick one of those, it might be a bit too slow. Finds a couple of consumes, finds thinning, but uh, yeah, the V count is. Uh, oh, and bricks, uh, bricks, uh, Archispore. Sadly, we only see one perspective since we are not cast casting through tournament client. Uh, one perspective should be enough. But yeah, not ideal for Ville having two bricks in hand. And having only only romance for for the V. Of course, you can you can argue that uh, Larva uh, will thrive several times here. Brooks as well seems a bit uh, a bit lacking though. So Villa, if you know Villa, Villa might be. Uh, region a bit at the moment. Uh, yeah, Kevin is developing an engine onto the board. We don't see any natural selections for Villa here, so... Uh, wait, sorry. So he's not killing that. I'm trying to... To make my browsers work and at the moment I'm failing at that sadly. Okay, so Villa is not playing Larva, decides to throw uh, Noon Wraith immediately. Uh, Kevin gets full banking after the tax collector. Yeah, brings another coin to the bank the ship out so no break uh, no break in that for dark kevin really plays archispore uh, the first one ready to tin but uh, as we see that ain't helping in anytime soon also yeah the coin animation is indeed amazing i tend to agree haven't seen much of the coin on ladder till uh, like recent times, but yeah, if I said it was stratagems, uh, quite nice looking. Hello, the doc. Uh, we are just starting, so that's the first game of the series. So Villa decides to to change the second archispur. <laughs> Uh, and probably leave the round uh, when his reach is uh, not there anymore. Might see like Brooks applied, but uh, if he'd want to play Brooks, uh, he'd uh, drop her earlier to get uh, a drive proc. So Kevin also understands that uh, Vida's hand might be not ideal, he didn't see Larva, he didn't see any consumes being played, and the V-Jump didn't start yet. And uh, yeah, actually, Kevin decides to pass here, gets full bank. Uh, Ville is uh, some points behind. Uh, considers bringing V out. Uh, 
uh, does that uh, with the leader charge since he didn't develop any any consumes uh, gets ahead not sure how surprised I am with uh, uh, cyber passing Uh, the cove list uh, that uh, Cyber's uh, Dark Kevin is running is not running Morel's uh, unless there was a mistake and they agreed to replace the deck uh, it should be running uh, Walter Veritas also if the camera is too big let me know if it uh, actually blocks uh, anything important to the match uh, the camera might be larger because yesterday we were casting the games between Team Ukraine and Russia and yeah I basically took an enlargement on the camera to match uh, flakes over in uh, yeah, Syria. Hello FLD. Hello Cyber. So Walter is in the deck. Okay. Yeah. At first I accepted it, but then I was like doubting after what happened in China-Austria game with uh, a bit of a mix-up with the decks. Nice to see some uh, interesting cards being added. So we see that Vila's uh, Larva half of it gets killed, uh, but uh, another Trife unit is about to hit the board unless Vila decides to to walk out of it nope probably it's the the sewers brother can we get any extra details cybers why why did you decide to play a uh, jason slama lookalike walter is to bait uh, so opponent doesn't ba uh, ban i see an honorable intention. Okay, we see second larva. Vile also has uh, quite a few V uh, tutors in hand, so might feel like uh, bleeding. Also, yeah, he just he, he just went uh, below seven hand uh, cards in hand limit, so it wasn't just to throw a couple of bricks away and leave the round. That was his round one intention with uh, breaking Archispores on the last mulligan. Uh, I mean, I can make uh, the camera smaller. Uh, so we see here uh, Horse and Junior hitting the board, answering the larva. Uh, quite, uh, quite a valuable play here. As if uh, Horson's devotion ability is insane. Clearing the board from all the potential drivers. Yeah. Instead of killing people, Horson Jr. decided to take a day off and uh, clean it from insects and uh, other drivers. Current SY deck is uh, basically a deck of brothers, so we see uh, friendly poisoning going around at the moment from Geller to Roland, also poisoning uh, Havelt. Uh, Vile hits uh, Nagelfar for carry over here, put in a royal decree on top of his deck. Uh, Tins Professor out uh, for Dark Kevin. Something's always dropping out for SY. You have a pool of uh, Professor, uh, Jacques, Sigi, Ruvin. So something expensive always uh, getting, getting out of the deck. Uh, no way around it. You have four top uh, top end cards. Uh, 
that are above for equal to 10 provisions. Yeah, it is open deck lists. Uh, With Brother Duo on the board, yeah, some poisoning is happening. Uh, v, of course, is not running something as uh, as uh, Devil's Puffball, so morale, so not much it can do here. But uh, some V jamming is continuing. Uh, I'm also not sure why score didn't work for you, Taco. Try it once again. It should be available. It's the first game of the match and of the series. I am here. Uh, do you want to add a webcam as well? Or are you all right with, uh, with only your voice being added, Sikamook? I don't have one, okay. Um, so giving you a call in a second and we get uh, a second person to cast. So there we see the poison applied, uh, the the boot uh, tint out. Hello. Uh, cannot hear you at the moment. Okay, something is coming through. Can you hear me? Yes, now it's uh, better. Chat, how is the volume? Say something. I'm saying something. Okay, yeah, thank you. And yeah, Villa finds a pass here. Uh, so I'll screen share for you so that you are not watching with a delay. Should be it. So yeah, Sikamuka, also known as Kumakis on the Pro Ladder, is joining us. Uh, hello, sir, and welcome to the last round of uh, V versus uh, Syndicate. So I think Kevin got like a Kevin got a card up, right? Yes. So does he still have? I don't know the list. I should probably get the list. Uh, I'll I'll give you a link. I just uh, dealing dealing with the volume at the moment. Does he play morals? Like did no, he play... there there is no morals. Uh, Dark Kevin mentioned in chat that he he decided to pull pull uh, put uh, Volta uh, Veritas into the deck instead of morals to bait uh, not banning of uh, Sy. I see. Makes sense. <laughs> Makes sense, yeah. Makes sense. Um, like, does he have still location so that like he has guaranteed poison combo that goes through? I'm not sure. Uh, so Kevin played the brothers already. Uh, as far as the location goes, I don't think we've seen the location applied. Uh, so sadly, we only see one part of. Uh, of the equation, so not sure what's in his hand. We know that Professor is out, uh, all the brothers have been played already. Yeah, I forgot we cannot see actually Kevin's hand. And yeah, I might have been still getting into it, setting up, uh, but uh, I don't think we've seen location, so that should be still in. So he might still get like a poison through, right? Yeah, that is a possibility. If it's the case, like it should be in a pretty decent spot. Also, we see the jackal is uh, over jamming the V here, denying the the potential consumer. It, it's not needed at the moment, but just funny that uh, there is no dominance for Barhest after eating V. Yeah. 
Oh, I imagine there's no, there's no spores in Vile's deck. Uh, yeah, oh, I checked. I don't think Vile was running. Yeah, he wouldn't, he would have, he wouldn't yeah. play like that otherwise. That's quite cute. As Vile definitely needs to to consume the V. Yeah, so he's gonna basically gonna get full bang for free. That's pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty good play. And yeah, we we got an information from Cybers uh, that location is uh, not in, in his hand. Oh. So didn't manage to find the card. That's pretty sad, yeah. Still has uh, half of the bank and leader charge, but uh, no more else. Is it Volta Veritas? I'm not sure what else are you deciding here. Yeah, there we go. Let's go. Eaves drop. Ah, uh, location? Okay. <laughs> Potentially. I mean, it's pretty decent, actually, because, like, it's, it's coins you can spend with the Jackal, so it's, like, efficient coins, and he also has, like, one Intimidate engine on board. It's pretty decent pool. Yeah. Oh, um, I think he, yeah. Over profited by one, but I mean nothing you can do, and maybe it helps to fix hand. But I think we've seen the the right most card leave the hand, so decided not to take it. Location <clears throat> here doesn't help. Can get two poisons. Uh, you can still maybe. I, I wasn't paying uh, like, full attention with the. Uh, Fish decks and uh, traffickers. Did he play all of them? You still can self poison one a unit and then transfer. But uh, Vile is uh, some 20 points ahead here. Yeah, it's not looking too hot for our German friend. Since he's not gonna be able to complete. Uh... The poison and we see that really basically found all of his V's so close to all of his V's because uh, yeah it's a 25 and the poison gets deleted here hmm. yep, bye. <laughs> yeah bye yeah there the removal of uh, lockdown kind of helped why to to come back. Vila takes the first game of the series, and uh, of the entire match between Finland and Germany, and into the game number two we go. So Skellige for Vila with the discard package. Yeah. To SK against elves. Apparently, this uh, I think I saw like already this matchup being played during the World Cup. Yeah. And I actually think it was already. It was it. I think it was already Cybers was playing elf. Um, could be wrong, but uh, I think he's kind. He's confident in the long run against SK so I guess SK is gonna try to seek to get round control and beat <clears throat> but I haven't played the match myself so I so I far have seen uh, they split qu quite often with uh, casting team Russia games uh, mm. Like I think, well, cast in Poland versus uh, Russia, we've seen this matchup uh, almost every in every series from both sides. Basically, everyone was playing uh, SY and mm. playing this uh, or like Elf Mirrors. So, who was winning it most of the time? Ah, it kind of depended uh, on the Skellige build, like uh, we've seen Skellige with no Blood Eagle missing Birna and basically not being able to 
get all the pieces out, so elves uh, managed to preserve in several games. Like uh, definitely, Flurry had uh, had a more def definitive uh, win rate in my experience. Like we've seen, Colomoyen basically control Hansu's elves uh, in both round two and three. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, I was just saying, I think SK needs Stop to be able to play round two. I, watch you suffer. I think if you go straight into long round three, else should be slightly favored. Yeah, with this leader, uh, you have some troubles removing the elves. But as you say, I guess it depends on the SK build. Like, I think I saw at some point like a wild boar. Yeah, I think Anomaly. Spacey played Wild Boar today in uh, his World Cup games as well. Yeah, I think I saw Chez. I think it was Chez, right? Mm. But yeah, point. here Wille finds his discount package, doesn't find Birna, but uh, nevertheless, Birna, is, Birna not hiding is a big plus for the deck. Mm hmm. Yeah, the, the question is how many uh, playable cards uh, Kevin got into his hand as well, because... Uh, and usually this Radeia deck has a lot of shit to yeah. play. <laughs> but uh, sometimes you still see Link uh, players mulliganing into Scenario and Radea. And then like having uh, some goals in hand already, you cannot really risk mulliganing everything away. You don't Too get. I'm, I'm most worried. I'm a bit more worried for Vila because, like, his hand is like. Um, I studied I'm not sure if you. I mean, he I doesn't feel good, I think, for him to commit. Though. Like, he doesn't want to play the burner, right? It's so much yeah. tempo. He would like to keep this to push, probably. The bear witcher is actually. It's dead at the moment. The totem doesn't feel great as well. Yeah, Morkwork Location you might consider dropping, although once again Location is a great card. I guess yeah. the Morkwork is not too hot. Yeah. So I guess it makes sense to commit it here. Oh, Andy with prostrates of Mulligan and everything and just complaining about the draws around 2 and 3. Yeah, that, that's an applicable strategy quite often implemented by players. I guess he can just play location next into the quartermaster, for example, has one armor on Mork. But like the fact that um that Villa didn't play like a bronze here may might make uh, Kevin want to play more so because he maybe he's, he reads the fact that Villa's hand is a bit too yeah. he has cards he doesn't want to play. Yeah, like, could play. Yeah. It's gonna go for the location. Okay. Like, yeah, you, you you can expect more for being thrown away, like an uh, almost useless card. But when you see location, yeah, as you point out, yeah, the blood is. I guess Morgvag is. Uh, yeah, I guess you cannot really make the read just based on Morgvag. It's too. Sh mm. Besides uh, to complete the second pink as well, I guess. Uh, uh, the question is, can Kevin allow himself to play? Like, he has the reach with Aerlin, but uh, do we want Aerlin out? Point gap is quite sizable. In the end, it turned out... I mean, the round went pretty well, actually, for Ville. Now he has, like, a good bear which uh, he can click location. If Kevin can even play here like this bear which are in location click shoots heal the round i mean probably okay and yeah he has a aerilin in hand at the moment which doesn't help his reach so yes. we, we, we have a cheat uh, observer 
Just good, right? Yeah. Okay, but uh, 10 points with uh, an old leader charge uh, always takes you there, but uh, Vila has a nice play here, beating him some 18 points ahead, uh, considers clicking as well. I think click basically guarantees you the round. Yeah, he really doesn't want to play into this. Like he has such a good hand to, such a good proactive hand to push here. Yeah. Okay. Like a lot of tempo. <clears throat> yeah, for only round two. If he wants to, I assume he would like to push. Mm -mm -mm. Even call on Jesus. Yeah, finds most of the stuff now, and Malikans into iced. Uh, so what's uh, that's Kjordal and Harald waiting for yes. round three, but you're drawing three cards. Yeah, so as I was expecting, really wants to push. Mm, and he really has the hand for it, to be fair. So I expect it to go quite well for him. He should get some decent cards out of Kevin. And yeah, mm -hmm. we now know that Kevin Mulligan Tirelin, so while counting points, need to remember about those hidden five. If you watched Qualis on the weekend, I think Nick had a game where both players forgot about Hayden and jumping out. Uh, I didn't see that exact moment, but I've, I've heard a story of it after games. So, sometimes players tend to forget. Uh, gets her day out immediately. Mm -hmm. So, like, what? I assume Kevin plays like Sierra, like a lock. Um, maybe not, I'm not sure, but like, like how does he deal with the call here? Does he have like an easy answer? Mm, nothing too easy. Um, I mean, a lock would be like an easy answer, but like yeah, if he has heat wave it, it's besides... pretty... Nah, he's probably not gonna heat wave. Yeah, besides heat wave, he, he has an oh, okay. We see Kieran. There is an O, but the board is not developed for that yet. Uh, those are not the most uh, beautiful cards to find. Uh, gold's uh, deep. It could be better. Down. Decides to throw away the scout. Nice tempo. <laughs> yeah, so this card package is definitely necessary, but I've heard multiple players complain about it, uh, the deck being the, with this package being a bit too high rolly and still it, preferring. Yeah. It feels pretty, it feels very bad some games. It's really, really bad. Yeah, but when it uh, hits, it really hits, uh, what, uh, 15 points uh, at the moment, plus thinning, improving chances of finding those golds at the bottom. Cannot say no to that. <laughs> when sometimes you are still missing your uh, blood eagle and uh, Wabjorn anyway, might as well try to, to be luckier. Kevin is not really in rush here. Yes, so Kevin is pretty. Kevin is chilling. He's just dropping. <laughs> Apparently, he's not too not too concerned about the tempo issues. He probably has the reach. He probably did the math. Yeah, we expect so players to do the math. <laughs> So that casters don't have to. Although I got you yourself to uh, to cast here, so I expect you to do all the math. I'm just yeah. here in my jacket sitting. 
showing no. that at least one person is uh, analyzing the game. Mm -hmm. But yeah, thanks, thanks for helping me out as well. I tried several ways, but people, people, uh, teammates are uh, either sleeping or busy. No problem. My pleasure. <laughs> okay, so Vernacel, is he clicking for elves as well? Yeah, he does. So this is not enough by one, right? Yes, there is no wait by one. Oh, I'm yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Thank Aerilin you. was hand buffed, so the math played us. I also, I also was surprised Aerin. to see thirty five. Aerin smurfing with the boost on Aerin. Seeing that saboteur. That's a pretty nice boost. So yeah, sadly for Vila, the Gert is uh, deactivated here, so it doesn't yeah. do much. Like now Vila is kind of... cannot really play the... like, he kind of... the thing is like if he commits ice, he's kind of all in. And if he Kevin recovers from that, I think he's pretty doomed. So... it's not looking... Too great. I thought this push was gonna go really well looking at yeah. the hand he had, but apparently Kevin managed to deal with it quite well. We joined Holker on some raids. Yeah, apparently Villa tries to get the Bloodthirst 3. The problem is that Kevin just killed uh, the Hunter and like something like I Isengrim is denying him. Yeah. First, anyway. Hmm. So Kevin, it's pretty telegraphed that like he wants blood first three probably. I mean, could just play the girl saying like I just want to trade and see your hand. But I think Kevin probably, if he has a way to play on the blood first, he's probably gonna do it. He could even like technically lose one point by transforming yeah, the Tiara. She really has no other way. <clears throat> he has first an arrow in hand. So what is it gonna be? Okay, decide decides to protect it that way. It's nice. He has it's... like a really cheap way to actually deny yeah. the blood for three. It's pretty good. That's pretty good for him. So now does Vile takes the emotional ice or does he pass? He passes. Okay, tries to pass. Uh, also Kevin decided not to spend the charges, so like transform one one of the copies. So yeah, this round was great for Cybers actually. Yeah, surprisingly, like having the discard package, having Totem, you'd expect it to go better, but uh, yeah, Cybers took his time developing the board. Maybe Great is a stretch, actually, like, Vile still still got like some decent stuff out of him, but I don't know, I would... The Cybers play Oak version? Yes, uh, there is an... Uh, t -t -t yeah, there is an oak in this version. No Taruviel. No Elias. Mm. <clears throat> Wait. Okay, so scenario was not in hand. Uh, Cybers cle clears that he giga roped. Wait, so... wait, wait, wait. What the fuck is this hand for Vili? This yeah, is... Maligant into Utah, there is a bear, there is no Harald, no Skjord. That That's the beauty of... Uh, I'm actually like, you You asked about who's winning. This is how Skellig uh, uh, lost it multiple times. I've seen bleeding and bleed going well until it doesn't go well and then... Like, usually, like, I think against elves, it's not even like that big of a problem to get like Utah in hand if you can let, get the blood first three, because you're usually not gonna hit something very big. 
but here, like, I mean, he has to pull out a miracle to get blood for three. Like, I don't see how he, do it. like, yeah, like, I guess that's that's a way to do it. Like, he puts this to, so it gets to five minus three. It's two. No, yeah, it, it but, doesn't uh... work, right? Because he has to play the bear next and bleeding. But then the thing is gonna, the thing isn't gonna be damaged anymore. Yeah, so plus, he cannot actually... plus uh, Vila, uh, Kevin plays uh, the Transforming Elves, so Bloodthirst is out of reach basically. It should be... Yeah, it should be GG. And yeah, three charges plus uh, second yeah. chapter of Scenario is still there. It's also horrible. Like, Bear, Bear is not doing much here. Yeah, yeah, like the Neo fighters are just completely denying. Mm. That's pretty sad. But it could have been even worse for Ville if uh, Kevin decided to use one leader charge previous round. It might have forced the emotion, as you called it, emotional eyes, but I don't think that would have been the case. But uh, it might have been minus one card as well. But uh, yeah, that, that's the problem with this card package. You are still potentially, like, imagine he didn't find Birna as well. Round yeah, like, two push is uh, yeah, impossible. Yeah. Because this wasn't like, like if I look at the draws, like for sure, like the round three draws, like are pretty, pretty bad. But like, it was uh, otherwise, like it was a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent draws for Vila. At least round two, like it went pretty well at first. Yeah, and this, this is just. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, fair enough. Elves, uh, elves are feeling quite all right with the scenario saved, uh, even without Verna Cell Yavin. So it's not even close. So if what's the last card? If he so has like perfect hand, I'm not even sure he comes on top. Okay, so Vila decides to to no power of this round. Uh, the series go to one one now. But yeah, here we go, Skellige against the Iraten Bucht. Yeah. yeah, the deck list from Kevin in German. So, Piraten Bucht it is. Piraten um, Bucht. Let's go. <laughs> okay, finds uh, discard package around one, at least parts of it. So, feels pretty good for, for Vila here. Uh, have you played the matchup a lot? No, so yeah, when I played Skellig, uh, uh, Pirate Cove didn't exist. Uh, yeah, you mentioned that. Too. And then I didn't really play because I heard like also teammates and like um, players around me just saying that SK was feeling pretty, pretty weak at the moment. And I don't know, I don't see. I don't see this matchup being favored for SK. I I think Cove should be pretty favored, but like as I said, like I didn't play it myself, so Okay. But yeah, I was kind kinda of surprised to see your clean score and then hearing that you haven't played made made all the sense. Uh yeah, start um, of the season uh went well. I just had lucky timing before before Cove. Oh, yeah. so. Fl Flake suggested naming this month uh, or meta the Redray meta, and yeah, the, the ladder changed up to top 16 qualifiers and insane ra uh, round from Redray. So, you played before that, you skill the game matchups, uh, but not Cove infested and help infested. So, double thinning from Kevin, uh, wouldn't yeah. say no. To see. Mm. So again, I think it's a game where Ville is gonna want to. 
I mean, I think that usually with this SK deck, like you're incentivized to to bleed with this package. I think it just makes sense. Like you have good tempo, proactivity. You also have more than decent short round with this leader, iced and stuff. Not saying that like you have bad long run, but uh, yeah, I think you're kind of incentivized to 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 bleed most of the time. And Kova has a pretty strong long run. And if you don't answer the brothers, uh, the the poison combo brothers, you also yeah uh, like failing to bleed them properly. I also think it's a deck that like like sure it's really strong but uh, the uh, I played uh, some games against it with like uh, and our witchers and I think you can get some pretty decent bleed against the deck actually like it's not uh, it's not like completely resilient <clears throat> to bleed. Okay, so Kevin goes. Uh... Nine points here. He doesn't have a spender at the moment. Uh, mm -hmm. Vida decides to start uh, playing his uh, tinning package. Uh, although he doesn't really have a good Birna targets to this card. He's gonna find them. Uh, unless. Unless those Harald and Skjordal from the bottom of the deck uh, in the previous game uh, finding themselves on top. Then you are kind of sad, but yeah, he has at least one bronze in hand already. Yeah, he has so. at, at least the raider. So it's pretty unlikely he top decks two gold. Hopefully, for him. Okay, so Kevin respects the call. Commits the horse and... So how are your feelings about horse and before and horse and now? Um, I mean, I was... I was one of the rare playing horse and I think yeah. before he was re like... Um, buffed. And... Um, yeah, I mean, it's like I think it was already decent, and I think now it's yeah, it's kind of insane. Forces you into bank, but oh, but yeah, then that's you. I hate bank. But... Yeah, that's the trade you're willing to make. Apparently, yeah. Mm. I don't know. The spending is also sometimes so. Like the spending of horse is also really good. Like it gives you like some nice uh, extra removal reach yeah, with it. like some cards. It's pretty cheeky. We've basically seen that uh, horse to clear the board against V. Yeah. Kevin in game one, something like yeah. that. Sometimes you need that versus AQ. You don't care about your spending uh, ratio. Mm hmm. Okay, Villa is still apply, applying pressure here and decides to drop the totem as well. Mm. So yeah, instead of playing Birna after Coral was answered, he decided to just play a bronze from his hand. Uh, not risking finding discard targets and not finding a Sculpt later on. I think Kevin, like I can, like he kind of he's, he's kind of trying to hold on for like to not use his leader charge but like i'm pretty sure like if at some point he sees that like he doesn't want to play any more uh cards from his hand and he doesn't want to get blocked in the run he just yeah like he just commits one charge spends a bit so he doesn't get blocked and he should get his pass. It probably means his card quality in hand is pretty he good. Probably tries to defend himself. Vida has what uh... he wants at least to have the opportunity to pass. Vida mm. really has nine point tier we has four points on the totem. 
15. He, yeah, still gets out. More work, please. For what? Uh, Correct, Vire. Well, he's kind of working on a potential mentor. Like, uh, yeah, there is what. Really, it so. looks like it's gonna be decent. <clears throat> At the moment, it's only for high six. So was only nine, I don't know. Okay, it takes the pass. Yeah, you'd expect both players having quite gold hands with how this play out, played out in the end with uh, Kevin committing Jackal, as you said, trying to preserve his uh, and uh, over the charge in coins and Vila also decided Oh, uh, Mardigan's Harald here doesn't find yeah, uh, confident mulligan. Yeah, but still. Maybe he expects, I don't know. Does he expect a bleed? Oh, I haven't played Cove a lot myself, to be fair. But um, I'm not sure. I can who... see Syndicate bleeding so sometimes, but uh, not sure that against Skellige that works really nicely. In like six, seven card round. Yeah, I kind, I kind of been enjoying the World Cup myself, not really playing the ladder that much. The only thing I've done in the past week was uh, a bit of a V jam. Not, not nothing too great, uh, so I haven't really touched Pirate Cove myself, but. Uh, I got, got to see that occasionally when players are risking and not banning it. We got another chance, but quite often. Yeah, the deck okay, is uh, getting banned. Pass, but it wasn't like. He definitely considered the bleed, right? He didn't just pass, so. Yeah. Maybe if he had like a specific hand, he would have. Oof. That's interesting. I, I mean, thought... maybe if he keeps the bank and leader charges, mm. then the bleed is uh, more potent. Hey, that's <clears throat> good. Uh, that's good, but we see two cards, and you are basically discard drawing two, discarding two. I guess you kick the bear because you you have to oh. find one of them, and that's one of them. That's a talent. Will this hand be enough against brothers and uh, and poisons? How does he deal actually? So he has Kjordal for Gellert, he has Turgvi for Roland, but I imagine Kevin plays Kurt. Uh, Kevin is playing, yeah, Piratenbucht. He is actually having Kurt there. Let's not forget that there is a random Volter Veritas as well. True. <laughs> if, if you are mulliganing into him or like having him, uh, do, you, do you kick it or do you believe in extra poison from him? I wonder. Like you, you can get a slander, you can get a poison from there to helping you yeah, connect cool. some dots. Yeah. On paper, the card like has a lot of like cards that can be really good in some scenarios, but um, yeah, I just gotta believe. Yeah, it's just all over the place, and that's the problem. Really misses Harold. So no Harold for him in this game. Ah, that's, oh, never mind, he still had one chance. To, he has to this and he has iced as well. Oh, right. Yeah. But yeah, that, uh, that mulligan on Harald might bite him. To be able to hold on. Just snaps the tongue V to make the curl check. Mm 
So Kurt is not dropping immediately. So Kevin is like <laughs> considering banking for it. I don't think bank was played right, but bank. Uh, oh, he doesn't have it. Right. I still save him. I guess. Okay, goes for it. I guess. I guess it makes sense because like. Um... Ville doesn't have like a clean way to deal with the two, right? I believe. Because the bear witcher is not online the bear yet. Bear is not online and other than that there is no enoglatical. Like yeah, example. and uh, has to overkill or, or and he can also say like, I mean I'm playing Gellert, so he has to deal with Gellert, he's not gonna deal with the Roland anyway. He might also don't have many poison synergy left in hand, so maybe he doesn't even care if the Roland dies. Uh, what, uh, what are the chances for Vile to get the Bloodthirst? Uh, one is basically set up, unless uh, Walter buffs it, but I guess it's not really possible to buff it by 5. Uh, yeah, like outside of Gellert, he doesn't have like anything yeah. to deny, right? Yeah, so there is also uh, Gert. Yeah, Gert gives it gives him one more. It shouldn't damage anything else, I think. At least on the spawn state. But yeah, oh, yeah, then it's basically a joke for Bear Witcher to try and set up something. Yeah, I guess if you decide to just make uh, Gellert, uh, Roland uh, obsolete. Oh. It takes the lucky. Interesting. It yeah, doesn't want abomination. Yeah, apparently. But uh, with the brother gone. Kind of not he's... that good. Why did he take lucky? I'm confused. No. Oh, he says he, c he couldn't play Kurt here. I assume it's because it was the last turn that, like, Gellert was not adrenaline blocked and he wanted to get the value and spend. I would assume. Okay, so there we actually see the Kurt uh, hitting the board, uh, playing into bounty. Yeah, I guess uh, I guess you don't need to take the purify value, to purify the rupture since you have like the offensive option. Uh, we haven't seen Evolt, right? So that's uh, Evolt setup. We only seen Horst. Looks like. So you have your uh, bladder set up here. Does Vida decide to kill the engine though? Yeah, goes for it. Uh, he doesn't have Harald randomly pinging stuff, so he can basically set up the bladder on uh, Kurt. And the risk if uh, Walter is in uh, in Kevin's hand, Walter Veritas might uh, ruin some plans. Bloodthirst 3. Yeah, at the moment it just uh, takes the bounty from Skull, gets 4 coins and uh, spends a bit. Oh, not a bit. Even, even more than a bit. <clears throat> it kind of makes sense, right? He doesn't yeah. want to spend in boosting. To make the more work, the less, the worse possible. 
so he has CG in hand uh, most likely as well, spins to zero. And yeah, Vila also doesn't have an obvious way to kill Evil, so we continue spending. But uh, how does your uh, Evil die anyway? So yeah, no, no real reason. Here he uh, gets the boat out. Yeah, this Evil sticking is pretty nice actually. He hits an 8. Considering you couldn't uh, play Harald, although in this board state your work work is not that amazing, you could have considered. I guess, but the thing is, like, if he drops the Morgva here, yeah. he discards it right away, then he loses the passive value of Morgva, and like Kevin can just like yeah. spend more efficiently by boosting. So. So it's like a passive value Morkvar kind of. Yeah, at the moment Morkvar plays for something like 3 damage at best. But yeah, it looks not close by uh, if you just go by the score on the right, but uh, there is a full bank. And, uh, and there, like there is the location still. That's a pretty good poison. Yeah. So, which is also plus four coins, kills a 12. And the more, as we said, like it's pretty shit. <laughs> yeah, but uh, alternatively, as, uh, as you mentioned, we've been just uh, who knows who's gonna come on top. Uh, there is a lot of uh, a lot of points getting from the jackal, and those blitz are distributed to the almost like entire board. So, is it what see. professor? Does he still have professor? Okay. If it's professor, I'm pretty sure Kevin wins by like actually a fair. Yeah, there is a tier three at four. Okay, yeah, it goes for bank. Uh, what is? Uh, was uh, top deck or second card? But doesn't matter. Professor is landing for full uh, bank value and click, click, click. Yeah, it's not, not a problem. Bad. Not a problem to get those twenty, thirty points of reach. Uh, so okay, we are done with uh, the game number one. So GG to both players. Uh, it yeah. didn't work out for Ovile.